So I'm gonna share with you guys how to reinstall Windows 11 on a desktop computer. Now, if you're watching and you have a laptop and you're running Windows 11, this method will still work for you as well, the same as it would on a desktop computer. The only reason I'm using my desktop is because I'm having trouble with it due to something I downloaded and it's running very slow. I'm gonna go to Microsoft's website and download a clean, uh, I'm gonna use the installation creation tool thing and put a clean copy right on here and then you can boot right from this and reinstall Windows 11. So you wanna go to Google and you wanna search for Windows Media Creation Tool. And what you wanna make sure of is that you're actually getting on Windows actual site. So this right here, where I'm sliding the blue bar across says support.microsoft.com. This particular, you at least wanna get on that website. If you don't find this link, that's fine. But once you get on there, you're gonna know that you're on the official support.microsoft.com website. You're gonna find a page that looks like this, create installation media for Windows. So we want Windows 11, and then it says select the download tool. So I'm gonna click on Windows 11. That's gonna take us to this page. And I also wanna mention something else. Make sure, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but make sure your flash drive's at least an eight gig or bigger. So we do not want this option. We want this option right here, create Windows 11 installation media. And this one is going to perform a reinstall or clean install of Windows 11. So what you wanna do here is click download now, and it's going to download wherever it puts it. I'm gonna go ahead and mine it, put it over here in the corner because I'm using, I think I'm using Microsoft Edge. So it'll download this, okay? You just click on it to open it. And then you're gonna get this pop-up on the screen. You should get this pop-up. Just accept that. And this is where we're gonna want to put in the flash drive into one of your so USB ports on your system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I plug in my USB flash drive because this thing's gonna recognize what your system's running and then it'll allow you to go through and select. Use the recommended options for this PC. It's perfectly fine to leave that check marked. I just click next there. I'm gonna leave that check marked and I'm gonna hit next. Now you should see this screen here, like it should recognize your drive. Okay, if you're not seeing anything in there where the removable drive thing is, then something's wrong. So you want to have your thumb drive should show up. So I want to click next. And what it's going to do is put the, a clean version of these files onto your thumb drive. And then I'll show you guys how you can boot your computer right from your thumb drive. And that'll kick off the installation. Why this is downloading, I'm going to go into settings and go down here at the bottom and go to about you can see in here information about your current, you know, stuff that's running currently, your version. One thing here to consider is the product key activation. So if you click this up here, it says active, active state, activation. Windows is activated with a digital license linked to my Microsoft account. You might want to take a look in there and just see if your current version before you go through this installation and wipe your computer out, that you have, you know, a valid copy and you know where your key is because they used to come in the form of stickers on the side of the computer, which I don't think they do that anymore. Everything's digital. That's probably where you will find some information there about your key. Okay, so you should eventually come to a screen. Your USB flash drive is ready. And then I'm just going to click finish. So what you want to do next is go to your settings and you want to search for uh, something like just type in reset PC. It'll take us to this screen and the recovery screen. And here you want to choose the one, choose this one here, restart your device to change start settings, including start from uh, USB drive. So what you want to do is click restart now. And real quick before we do this, that's probably one of the most important messages that you will get. We'll restart your device, so save your work. I'm gonna hit close real quick just to show you guys real quick what I did. When I do this, I move everything off of my C drive, which is the main drive that Windows is installed on. So I go into my documents folders, my music, my videos, and I move all that stuff over to one of these hard drives that are connected you know, as an additional drive. So you wanna get all that stuff saved before you you perform this clean install or you're gonna lose your documents and pictures and all that precious stuff go in here and back up all your stuff get it off before you choose this advanced option right here so we'll get back to this real quick I'm just gonna click restart now 
All right, so it's giving us some options up here. I'll just zoom in there a little bit. So what you wanna do is choose the one that says use a device. That's gonna be a USB drive. So we're gonna select that option right there. It already recognized the USB drive that I have plugged in. So what we're telling it to do is we're telling it we wanna boot from the USB thumb drive. It's no different than how we would do it if we had a disc in there. So basically we're just waiting for it to the setup screen to come up because it's booting off of the USB flash drive so there's the screen we're waiting for now what's happening here is we're in the windows setup screen so it's working right off of the flash drive so what you want to do is click install now and then it's going to say setup is starting it says activate windows so if you're reinstalling windows select i don't have a product key your copy of windows will be automatically activated later i talked about that a little bit in the beginning but i'm just going to select i don't have a product key so then we come to this screen here and you have your operating system options so in the the beginning of this video I went over where to go into settings under where it says about and it shows you what version of Windows you're running. Mine is Windows 11 Pro 64 bit. So this is important to pick the correct version here because it matches up with your digital key or product key sticker whatever. So this is important you got to pick the right version. Um, accept the terms here and then when you get to the screen which type of installation do we want? We want to choose custom install and this is going to show us everything going on here with our hard drive and yours might not look quite like mine but mine's a little messy looking normally how they start is drive zero is your first hard drive your main hard drive your c drive your second hard drive would be drive one mine are a little different what i have to look at is how i have them named um, you, you want to be careful in here not to, like this one here is my backup. Obviously, I'm not going to format or delete that one because I would lose all the data that I copied over from the main drive. The one here that says project is my projects and the games. So those three, I don't want to mess with. Any that say drive O together are together. So you don't want to mess. I'm not going to mess with these two because that's my backup drive. Drive two, these ones here, this here is my Windows installation. It's drive two. I know that mine's 500 gigs. It's been a while since I actually did wipe mine out. The ones that I'm going to get rid of are everything with drive two. That's actually my C drive. And normally your C drive would be drive O. The first thing I'm gonna do is delete this one. This is right where Windows is gonna be installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. There should be three partitions with your main one. So one, two, and three. Windows creates the recovery files right here, and Windows creates additional things to help the system boot and start and all that good stuff. I wanna clean all of them so there's no potential chance for something to be corrupt. Drive to partition one, I'm gonna delete that one. And then down here, partition two, we're gonna get rid of this one. And this one I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna delete that. So now we know we're down to clean install. What I'm gonna do now is click new. And what it should do is create the three additional partitions. Windows might create additional partition for system files. This is where you're gonna get partition one, partition two and three under the same drive. See, they all came back. And what this did was formatted and created all new partitions and they're clean. I know all this stuff is, is good now. So what's gonna happen is once I go through and install Windows on this drive, which is the C drive now, it is going to create another partition and that one will be the recovery files. So that's another thing that I'm after, getting new fresh set of recovery files. So what I always like to do is make sure I have the right drive selected here and fo click format. Okay, so now I am ready to reinstall Windows. All I have to do is select this one and click Next. And now Windows is reinstalling on the C drive. At this point, you're pretty much all set. It's gonna reinstall Windows. And all you have to do is follow all the prompts and the pop-ups, sign into your Microsoft account. And what you wanna do when you're all done here is uh, reinstall, or actually you wanna do your Windows updates. It'll start doing Windows updates to get you all up to date and install your drivers. So now that it's kind of like starting services and rebooting itself, I still have the thumb drive plugged in. So I didn't, un I didn't take it out yet. I'm just gonna wait till we get through the setup process to unplug it. Okay, so which right country or region? Pick your country that you're in and click yes. Just go through all this stuff here. I'm not adding, I'm skipping that. I'll let you guys do all that and I'm gonna jump to the desktop here.
All right, so I'm all done with setup. Everything is back to normal here. I gotta go through and customize everything my way. My computer's working better now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me comments. If you wanna see a video on something else relating to this installation, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.